Poor old Percy Street School. After surviving for so long, it doesn't seem right somehow that the end should come brutally in the night, by fire set probably by some arsonists. Even the wrecker's hammer, for which it was earmarked, would have been less painful. It stood proudly for more than a century at the corner of Percy Street and Gilmore Streets. In the heart of Centertown. Actually, the front door faced Gilmer Street, and why they called it Percy Street School, no one ever seemed to know or really care. Percy was one of those three-story Victorian structures, architecturally a close cousin to a clutch of other Ottawa schools. Its red brick exterior seemed forever stained with the soot of coal-burning furnaces and belching steam locomotives. The hallways and classrooms had the scent of age. It had enormously tall windows draped in Boston fern, heating coals that howled and groaned in the winter, and high varnished, uneven wooden floors that squeaked under the weight of approaching teachers. If not exactly an architect's dream, Percy did have one very big thing going for it. A great cylinder-shaped silvery fire escape that stretched from the top to the bottom of the school with access at the second and third floor. Nowhere else, I'm sure, were fire drills more fun, and we longed for the fire bell to clang those few precious times every year just for the opportunity of sliding down that slippery, winding metal. If you were lucky, your classroom was on the third floor, giving you the maximum descent possible. If you were even luckier, you might have been one of the chosen few picked to periodically clean the fire escape. This consists of placing your fanny on an old potato sack and hollering, Geronimo! Zooming down the chute as many times as you could on your lunch break. Envious schoolmates stood at the exit as you came hurtling down and out. Percy's lesser physical assets included a hockey rink with rickety boards that discouraged hoisting a puck more than two feet and a gymnasium barely bigger than a good-sized living room. By modern standards, the old gal wasn't much to look at, but she did have a peculiar charm. May she rest in peace.